Friday, November 20, 2009. Good news from the CERN Control Center. The LFC machine is ready for restart proper. Any moment now, the operators right behind me are ready to inject beam one in the clockwise direction. The protons will cross sector 3-4 for the first time in 2009, since this is the sector where the damage occurred a year ago, and then circulate the beam in the whole circle. Beam two will follow right after. Y'all good. Next, we go again. And at 8.38 p.m., Beam 1 completed its first two turns all around the LHC in the clockwise direction. Yay! <laughs> this is the first time we've captured Beam 1. So in, in last year we had Beam 2 circulating, but we only had a few turns of Beam 1. So this is the first. And this tells us a lot of things. It tells us that the magnetic properties of the machine are good, that the aperture is clear, uh, there's nothing sticking into the beam pipe anywhere. So it's a very, very encouraging sign and, and remarkable progress. <laughs> At this point, there was a change of plan. Beam 1 was so stable and such good quality that the decision was made to capture it, to make it stable and circulate it many times. We didn't go according to the schedule. Uh, so the schedule was that we would go for beam 1, uh, get a circulating beam, and then move on to beam 2 and do the RF capture tomorrow morning at 7 o'clock. But when I saw how well the beam, beam was behaving, it was making six or seven hundred turns, between five and six hundred, seven hundred turns. And with a beam like that, you can easily measure its frequency, measure its phase, and then switch on the RF and capture it. So the, although the RF guys were not there, we called them and asked them to go to point four. They went to point four. It took them about 15 minutes to turn on the cavities. They turned on the cavities and they captured the beam the very first shot. The whole process, well, calling them, between calling them and getting captured, it must have been 25 minutes. The same thing last year, if you remember, took us almost 10 hours. Before the day was over, Beam 1 completed 10 million fantastic turns in the clockwise direction. At that point, it was dumped to try the same thing with Beam 2. Monday, November 23, only three days ago, the LHC machine was just starting up with its first circulating protons and today, at 2.22 p.m., the ATLAS collaboration saw the first proton-proton collisions. <laughs> we just take it for granted after three or four days of machine startup. I think we should, we should be aware that the machine did a great job. I'm now in the LHCB pit. And the people behind me are the LHCB collaboration at point 8 of the LHC machine and they are celebrating their first collisions too, which they saw only a few minutes ago. Alice and LHCB saw their first candidate collisions around 5 p.m. This is what I'm going to bring over now to the LHC control room yeah. to congratulate them for the nice beams we got and all the nice events we got with protons colliding. Last but not least, the compact muon solenoid were successful too, with the first candidates seen at 7.22 p.m. Seeing this event uh, appearing on the screens has been a magic moment. This machine is going to deliver the science which will probably make the difference in our understanding of nature and of the fundamental law of nature. Events are just escalating and I cannot foresee what's happening next. <laughs>